Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Spring Summer 2023 Undercover Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon denim jacket that I picked up from Contrabrand Canada. <laughs> I'm pretty quick to it, guys. Uh, after my first undercover Pink Floyd piece, I've now moved into my second piece. Although, in saying that one, though, I did buy that one like a month or two ago to start that collection, and it just took a while to get here. So the time difference between that jacket and this jacket does seem pretty small, but I did buy that a while ago. But... I'm collecting them all regardless, so we might as well just tick this one and that one off the list because, yeah, I do want to build up like a really big archive of uh, undercover pieces and one day, I guess, showcase it in some kind of gallery way or something like that. But at the moment, just excessively collecting it. <laughs> and here he is another one to add to that collection. So um, I'm scouring the internet all the time various boutiques across everywhere in the world i'm looking for deals on size four and five undercover pieces sometimes size three depends on the measurements but i'll mainly stick to size four and five and i had the canadian boutique contraband bookmarked because they sell undercover and Luckily, they still had some of the Pink Floyd pieces from the Spring Summer 23 season available in size 4 and 5. I bookmarked a couple of them, and most of the ones that I wanted sold out in my size. There's still some sizes left, so I'd recommend go checking them out if you guys are like a size 2 or 3. Definitely go check out Contraband because they'll have some of those still in stock, but... I wanted the size 5 in a lot of the pieces that they have stocked there and then the size 4s were selling out and then I was like, ah, I don't want to buy the size 4 when the size 5 was available. I'm just going to go hunting for the size 5 elsewhere. I'm a bit fussy with that, but yeah, I, I managed to finally buy one of them, which is, as I mentioned, the denim jacket, which features the Dark Side of the Moon artwork on it. Um, Obviously, the Spring Summer 23 season had Pink Floyd collaborative pieces to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the album. Um, on the lookbook for the season, they had the model wearing this jacket and it has pins on the left hand side of the shoulder. I initially got excited buying the jacket thinking I was going to get the pins with it but the pins are sold separately and the pins from what I know are little album artwork versions of the Pink Floyd albums. And I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't come with this jacket, but of course, of course they don't, you know, <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe one day I'll pick up the pins and I'll be able to pin each of the album artworks to each of the jackets from the season and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, even though this is a size five, I actually am a little worried about unboxing it and wearing it to see if it's going to fit me because that size five animals jacket that I can, I can barely zip up and it was quite a small size five. So he's hoping that the larger size, the size five actually fits me guys, but uh, let's get into it. Let's unbox this awesome denim jacket and we'll go over the details together. Right. No trusty kitchen scissors on me today, guys. I'm hoping that this will just be a, easy rip across kind of bag it kind of feels like it is so i don't feel like it's going to be super difficult to um to get this one undone but uh yeah another one off the ticked off the list another undercover pink floyd piece collected um i'll have to find the atom heart mother um crew neck sweater in my size but that one always sells out everyone always wants that sweater but ah oh, it's so difficult to find i really want to get that one <laughs> okay let's get it out of the bag here moment of truth we'll place that down here anything left in the bag nothing left in the bag cool i'll chuck that over there so as we can see contraband uh little sticker there on the paper i'll take that apart and open it up 
fantastic the jacket is here we'll move that over to here um okay let's go over the details i actually was well i'll get into it we'll go over the details and then i'll talk about it so here is the front of the jacket here there's nothing too i guess exciting about the front of the jacket it doesn't feature any crazy graphics or anything really like that it um it does have custom hardware though so i'll try and showcase that to you what's probably the best way to do that we'll go over to we'll go over to the sleeve so i'll bring that up as close as possible to the screen as we can see undercover jun takahashi i thought that was quite nice to have custom hardware now i've noticed on the pink floyd uh dark side of the moon pieces it's also got this on the sleeves of them now i cannot read it don't know what it means but if someone could fill me in in the comment section below on what that means that'd be fantastic i assume it has some relation to pink floyd and uh dark side of the moon I assume because it's only on the dark side of the moon pieces because it's not on the animal's jacket back there so i assume it's got something to do with dark side of the moon um we've got what else do we have i'll, I'll kind of talk about the detail that i was really excited to talk about i'll just quickly get this um this pin off the jacket so we don't have tags like flapping about everywhere but we'll just do that cool so here's the tags here um, I'll showcase it to you the best I can. Undercover, size 5, 100% cotton, which is typical because it's denim. It's It's got to be 100% cotton. Um, it's got the care instructions and the little black bag, which has a sample of the fabric. Um, now that that's off there, what I really liked about this design and what I uh, was really excited to cover about it is, is that it's got this really nice texture to it and I'll try and bring it up to the screen the best I can but do you see it it might not pick it up on the camera as best as I want but it's got this very directional um have the cottons laid out in a very directional way where it's all going downwards and it has this really nice texture to it because of that it's not super prominent but I thought I'd just kind of showcase it to you because it adds a little bit of flair to it um, one of the big things that we obviously got to showcase, now that I've showcased the front of it, of course, is the iconic artwork. Love to see it. There it is there. Um, it features, oh, it does feature another, so just like a Levi's jacket, which I assume that's what they're using as a reference. It has the little, um, where is it there? The little undercover tag just on the pocket. Uh, one thing that I've noticed, unfortunately, about the about the pink floyd uh dark side of the moon logo is that some of the rainbow has faded from either being in packaging or something like that um i'm just trying to showcase it to the best that i can guys but do you see it there where it's kind of faded off that's kind of got me worried that because of the texture of the denim where it has that directional texture to it i'll put it that this graphic isn't going to stay on there too well it'll look awesome when i like beat it up and the graphics like half there and half not but like let's say five to ten years from now for archival purposes if someone's looking for this jacket it might be hard to come across one with an intact graphic on the back of it purely just because of you know how well the graphic a graphic actually stays on the denim jacket because of the texture of the denim jacket look i'll report back in five or ten years from now we'll go over it then but uh yeah i thought i'd just make notes about that because uh looking at the photos from the lookbook and things like that i don't think the intent is to have it already kind of like peeling off there but um apart from that the graphic looks pretty solid and i hope that it will actually stay on the actual jacket but um there it is there showcased in all of its glory cool 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 um well now that i've kind of unboxed the piece uh i'll chuck it on and show to you guys how these size for oh actually before i get into that let's actually get to the tags before i before i throw it on let's do that because maybe some of you guys would be interested in seeing how the how the tags look on these pieces so in typical undercover fashion i assume that the tags are going to be on the left hand side of the piece what do you know they are 
Uh, just like the animal's jacket, the undercover tag is not at the neckline, it's on the back of the left pocket. You really have to look out for when you're wearing the Pink Floyd pieces from this season, because whenever I put my hand in the pocket, I can feel the stitching of the back of this uh, tag, and I always play with it, because I'm like, oh, what the hell is this in my pocket? And it only hits me after I touch it once, and I'm like, oh, crap, that's the stitching for the tag. I don't want to play with that too much, because then the tag will just come off. <laughs> you got to look out for it, though. Um, because it, yeah, the stitching goes all the way through to the pocket. But um, I'll showcase the tag to you the best I can there. Made in Japan. We love Made in Japan. Size 5. Probably one of the few size 5s because what Japanese dude is ordering a size 5? Hint, it's mainly just me. <laughs> but uh, there we go, guys. There are the tags. Kind of showcase. I'll see if it... Um, yeah, it's probably not going to do it too well, is it? Yeah, it's not going to pick it up. No. Oh, well, tried my best. Tried my best. Well, now that I've got that... Uh, oh, there is another detail I guess I could showcase to you. It's got a little um, graphic. It's not a, It looks like a sticker, but it is exactly like the graphic on the back of it. The, um, it's like a print. It's printed on there. But it looks like it has a sticker appearance, doesn't it? Now that I've kind of showcased all the details that I can really think of to do with this jacket, let's chuck it on. Let's see how this jacket looks on body. Well, you know what? I'm actually very happy with the outcome of it because I thought this was going to be smaller than the animal's jacket, but it is like slightly larger in the width. And yeah, I, I know that's a horrible measurement for if anyone's actually interested in buying these pieces because what the hell does slightly wider actually mean measurement wise, but I'd probably say that it's maybe like a an inch maybe two so maybe like three centimeters wider maybe just oh not two two is too many so maybe like three centimeters to four centimeters wider than the animal's jacket because i really struggled to close the animal's jacket um but this i mean i feel like i could i could quite comfortably actually like button up this jacket and it wouldn't be too much of a problem like i could easily just go one two let's see how far i can go Maybe it's helpful to, with the weight that I've lost recently that I can actually fit into these pieces now. But in saying that though, like the animal's jacket, I would not go down to a size four. I'm very happy that I made the decision to go with the size five. And uh, yeah, informed decision, I guess. <laughs> definitely a 2XL in uh, Japanese sizing. Definitely, definitely a double extra large because yeah i would not fit in anything smaller although i am struggling with the top button there but there we go um that is it fully buttoned up oh except for the top one but i guess i could do that as well i suppose but um things you might notice it is well i mean i would say that it's wide but it's not like hanging down or anything like that it's still quite a fitted look it is short it literally hangs at where my belt uh, is and if that's the case then the length of it from like shoulder to uh, waist is probably around like 24 to 25 inches because um, that's generally from my shoulders to the belt there for a size 5 so it's not overly long but in the most recent streetwear talk video I did highlight that I do like jackets fitting this way um it doesn't feel tight under my arms or around the sides so i feel like the width is quite nice i'll see how the pockets are it does have pockets along the sides here it's at a quite a comfortable uh position as well the pockets are quite nice um i'll showcase to you now the back of it as well the here is obviously the very iconic artwork showcased on the back there um yeah the 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 denim feels really solid, it's uh, pretty rigid, it doesn't feel very, I guess, uh, flowy or lightweight, it definitely feels like a rigid denim, nothing too crazy, you know, nothing like a 20 plus uh, ounce denim, nothing like that, it's, it's definitely, it's more than an 8 or a 12, it's probably a mid uh, 14 or like something like that ounce denim. So it's it's pretty solid, um, but it's not super lightweight at the same time. Um, yeah, that is the piece showcased on body. 
I am very keen to wear this over the top of, I guess, like tank tops, kind of like what I'm doing now, or a turtleneck. Um, I really do like to wear it. I would like to wear it how the model is wearing it in the lookbook as well, because that was a really nice look with the single pleated uh, suit pants, but uh, maybe not with the vans that they're wearing or the undercover collaborative vans, because I feel like we could wear it with some some nicer shoes in a way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there it is there, showcase to you guys. Very happy to have this one in the collection, and it's another black denim jacket that has a graphic on it that I am further just pushing away the idea that I need just a denim jacket with nothing on it because for the longest time I've been wanting a denim jacket with just nothing on it and even though I've been saying that every single black denim jacket I have bought has some kind of graphic on it I'm not doing myself justice am I I'm just gonna have to buy the capital uh first uh, denim jacket in a black because that has nothing on it and get it over and done with but uh yeah I'd love to hear your guys thoughts on the piece uh do you like the length of it did you think it was longer because I think how the model wears it in the lookbook it's perceived to be a little bit longer but for my sizing maybe it's just a little bit shorter maybe I should be a little bit smaller to wear a size five like this I am like six foot five so you can put that into consideration there but uh yeah that is the length of the jacket i love the length of the jacket i love the material the artwork is iconic um there's no complaints no complaints from me at all um it's a very lovely denim jacket and i'm very happy to now have it in the collection but uh i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below and that is it completely unboxed guys um I really enjoy it. It's it's a really nice feeling denim jacket. I, I, the texture that it has with what I was trying to showcase before is really lovely. It feels really nice on the skin. It's it feels a little bit rigid. Um, it's it's a nice feeling. It's an awesome jacket. The cut is really nice. I like how short it is. It's something that I could feel that I could wear in summer over the top of tank tops and things like that. Coming from a spring summer season. That makes a lot of sense that they probably designed it that way, but I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it moving forward because I could wear this over the top of what I wear to work. Um, a lot of my co-workers are big music fans, so they'll definitely get around something like that. They got around the animals jacket quite a bit as well, but I feel like it's um, like outside of the huge logo on the back, it is subtle enough for people to just look at it from the front and be like, oh, that's a nice denim jacket as well. But uh, that is two out of, well, I don't even know how many Pink Floyd undercover pieces actually released in the spring summer 23 season, but um, it's number two <laughs> that I have. So yeah, I'll go hunting for the other pieces. I do want to get the outwear first before I buy like the t-shirts and the long sleeves and stuff like that. Um, in saying that though, I haven't finished a lot of the other like collaborative collections that released in previous undercover seasons but i suppose it's um it's an ongoing battle it's a never-ending battle it's like that so yeah we'll just have to keep collecting i'm very happy to have this as my second undercover pink floyd piece in the collection though uh i'm definitely going to be coming back to contraband to check out if they've got any you know previous season pieces available because I'll definitely pick up some of the size fives when they're discounted and whatnot. That's always a good pickup for me. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the jacket, but also your thoughts on maybe contraband if you've bought from them before as well. Uh, did you have a good experience with them? How did you feel about it? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, guys, if you want me to keep unboxing my various pickups, uh, you've just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator that you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in the previous upload, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,745 subscribers before the end of November. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But I think that's everything I have to say about the jacket, guys. Uh, very happy to have this one, and I'll keep collecting undercover pieces moving forward. Definitely send me any listings that you see in a size 4 and a size 5, and I'll bookmark them. 
I'll come back to them. <laughs> um, you, you guys have been very helpful with that in the past. I have picked up listings that you guys have sent me in the past. So thank you very much. But uh, yeah, that's everything I really have to say about it, guys. So until the next unboxing video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next undercover video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.